Hey guys, it's Ash and today I'm gonna talk about the Archer Queen and why it's so important to upgrade her. Uh, some of you guys may know that I've done a Barbarian King level analysis guide showing you guys just how important it is to upgrade your Barbarian King. Uh, if you have not watched that, I'll leave the link to that on the descriptions below. In this video, I'm gonna talk about just the Archer Queen and why it's so important to upgrade her and what makes her such a special troop. Uh, but first I want to state that today is the third anniversary of Clash of Clans and they're having a one gem collector event. Of course I'm not boosting any of my collectors just because my storage is all, are already overflowing and I already have farmed my level 40 heroes. So if you're in need of Dark Elixir definitely boost your uh, Dark Elixir drills. It's definitely worth the one gem boost since a uh, level 6 Dark Elixir drill produces 100 Dark Elixir per hour. So in 24 hours, you will get 2,400 Dark Elixir. So if you're boosting your level six Dark Elixir drill, it's gonna double the production and you're gonna be able to make 4,800 Dark Elixir with just one level six drill. So if you have three of them, you can be making 14,400 Dark Elixir in just one day for free. And if you're a Town Hall 9 with two level 6 Dark Elixir drills boosted, you'll be making 9,600 Dark Elixir in just one day. Okay, back to topic on the Archer Queen. The Archer Queen is my favorite troop in the game and is also, in my opinion, the best troop. And the reason I believe she's the best troop in the game is because of many reasons. One reason is because she's the most powerful troop. She has a total DPS of 419 at level 40. Not only that, with her ability she gets 819 more DPS which raises it to 1213 and that's just per second. Her ability lasts for 5 seconds so she's gonna deal over 6000 damage in the span of 5 seconds and that's just ridiculous. Not only that, her main attraction is her 5 tile attack range because no other troop com comes close to that range. Archers have a 3.5 tile range, wizards have 3 tile range, minions have 2.75 tile range, the Archer Queen has a 5 tile range. Not only that, in those 5 seconds of her uh, ability, she can remain impervious to all damages other than bomb damage or mortar splash damage. Other than that, she can basically avoid Infernos, Archer Towers, Expos, Cannons, and, and so on with her ability. And I'm not done. <laughs> she also can attack faster than a second. Most people don't know this, but her attack speed in three, three quarters of a second, which will allow her to take out defensive threats faster than they, than they can damage her. For example, a level 40 Archer Queen can take out a maxed out cannon with three shots while that cannon can only attack her per second so that means that the archer queen can only take two hits from the cannon while she can take out the cannon in three quick hits that will take about 2.25 seconds to take out and uh, I'm, I'm still not done she also summons 12 archers at level 40 so those 12 archers are gonna shield her from damage and at the same time also deal additional damage. Not only that, she also has at level 40 1630 hit points plus the ability she gets about 325 more so that's about 2000 HP which is really incredible. Most people don't think of the Archer Queen as a tank, but at level 40, you can basically use her as a tank. And not only that, she's so great at shielding herself, because of her 5 tile range, she stays, she stays behind troops, allowing her to shield herself from damage. Okay, this is a chart that I created showing the progression of the Archer Queen per level. So as you can see from level 1 through 4, she doesn't really gain much. Uh, at level 5, that's when she gets her ability, so that's her main attraction. So if you don't have your Archer Queen at level 5 yet, do so immediately, because that's when things get better. At level 5, her DPS pretty much skyrockets with her ability. Uh, as you can see from her no normal DPS, which is in the blue, and her uh, d total DPS with the Royal Cloak ability in red. So at level 5 for instance, her DPS is 176, with her Royal Cloak ability, her DPS goes up to 476, 
which is about two and a half times more. So as you can see, you can see the same correlation at level 10. Her DPS is 199. With her ability, her total DPS is about 554. So that's about two and a half times greater. However, as she levels up, it gets better. At level 40, for instance, her normal DPS is 419. But with her ability, it goes up to 1238, as I mentioned before, which is which is about three times now as greater. So one thing most people don't realize is that her attack strength does not increase at the same rate. It does not increase at the same pace. It increases exponentially. And by that, what and what I mean by that is that, uh, for example, at level five, her DPS is 176. At level 10, her DPS is 199. So that's an increment of 23 DPS. But from level 10 to level 15, she goes from 199 to 226, so she gains 27 DPS. Uh, as opposed to level 5 to 10, that was 5 levels, she gains 4 additional DPS. So as you level her up, she gets even stronger. She gets stronger more, not just at the same rate, but at a higher rate. So for example, from level 35 to level 40, for instance, from level her DPS goes up from 370 to 419, which is a 49 DPS increase. As opposed to say from level 15 to 20. At level 15 her DPS is 226 and at 20 it goes up to 255, which is only a 29 DPS increase. It's almost double at level 40 from level 35 to level 40. Now another important thing to know is that she progresses very slowly at lower levels but progresses even faster at higher levels. For example from uh, level 1 through 10 she only gains about 4 or 5 DPS per level but from 10 to 20 she starts gaining 5 to 6 DPS per level and then 20 to 30, 6 to 7 and then 30 to 40 she starts gaining 8 or 9 DPS per level. Okay so here's another chart that I created. So if we look at her level for instance, at level 15 her DPS is 226, at level 20 her DPS is 255, that's a 29 DPS increase. But if we look at level 30 to 40, her progression, she goes up from 370 to 419, which is a 49 DPS increase, much greater than the DPS increase from 15 to 20. It takes about 5 weeks to get her from level 15 to 20, and at the same time, from level 35 to 40, she gains even more power at a faster rate. Same thing with her ability, with her total DPS from her Royal Cloak ability. Uh, at level 15, her total DPS goes up from 642 to 738. From level 35 to 40, it goes up from 1095 to 1238. That's an increase of 143. At 15 to 20, she only gained 96. And if we also look at level 15, her total DPS with her ability is only 642, but at level 40, it's 1238. So a level 40 Archer Queen with her ability is going to do twice the damage a level 15 Archer Queen can do. Now remember, the Archer Queen doesn't attack per second, she attacks faster than a second. That's why I created this chart showing how much damage she does per hit as she attacks every 0.75 seconds. So for instance, at level 10 she does 149 damage, at level 40 she does 314 damage per hit. So she does more than twice the damage. Now a level 25, now I consider a level 25 Archer Queen to be much more stronger and better than a level 10 Archer Queen and the reason for that is because of her damage per hit. She does 217 damage per hit compared to a level 10 Archer Queen that only does 149. Now her 217 damage allows her to take out most defenses in 4 shots while a level 10 Archer Queen requires more than 6 shots to take out most defenses. With her attack speed, she's able to deal 4 hits in 3 seconds, which means that in 3 seconds, she can take out majority of the buildings and defenses in the game at level 40. 
as opposed to level 25, she's gonna require about four to five hits to take out buildings such as barracks and archer towers, wizard towers, cannons, and so on. She can take them out in three seconds in four hits at level 40 as opposed to level 25 where she's gonna require uh, more than four hits. This chart shows her level versus her hit points, her HP per level. Now the Archer Queen isn't known as a great tank, but can be a very good tank at higher levels. For instance, at level 40, her HP becomes 1630, and that's a lot. That's way more than a giant. That's like two level seven giants. <laughs> With her ability, she reaches she reaches about 2000 HP. So that's incredible. And uh, as you can see, just like the other chart, she doesn't really gain much from level 5 to level 10 as opposed to level 35 to level 40. For instance, from level 5 to 10, she only gains about 80, 87 more HP. While from level 35 to level 40, she gains 161 HP. So at higher level, she grows exponentially at a higher rate and gets more HP. So definitely upgrade her whenever you can. Okay, so I hope that I've enlightened you guys as to why you should upgrade your Archer Queen and why it's so great to upgrade her as much as you can. As there is no other troop in this game that impacts the game as much as she does. She makes farming much easier because of her attack range and power ability to get storage is much better. She makes wars and trophy pushing a lot easier because she can target the town hall better and quickly take it down with her ability as well. So I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because I'll be posting a lot of great content like this. And I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you again. Bye.